Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this tutorial, we are going to create this beautiful sliding up text UI animation. We will create this amazing animation using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. You can use this animation in your website homepage to make your website attractive and user friendly. So let's get started and understand how you can create this beautiful animation. So in Visual Studio Code, I will just create a simple HTML file. So I will just click on this icon and say here index.html and just after that to styling this HTML, I will just create style.css file. I also wanted to include JavaScript file to create this animation. So I will just click on this icon and say main.js, right? So we have three files here. So in index.html file, I will just create a simple HTML5 snippet. Before I start creating any code, I will just open this Visual Studio code in the Zen mode. So I will just say view and click on the Zen mode, right? So toggle Zen mode, right? Just after that, I will split the window. So here you can see your index.html file and I just wanted to open my style.css file here. So I will just say control P and you can open your style.css file here, right? In index.html file, I will just create a simple HTML5 snippet. So I will just say exclamation mark and press enter. I will just specify title. So I will just say slide up and link this style.css file. So I will just say link style.css. Just after that in the body, before the closing body tag, here I will just create a script tag to link main.js file. In the body section, I will just start creating the UI. So I will just first create a division tag with the class aligner. And in this aligner division tag, I will say div with the class name center. And in this center division tag, I will put another division tag with the class head. And here I will just wrap h1 heading tag and specify text hey right save the changes and i just wanted to open this in the live server so i'll just right click here and say open with live server right so you will get hey text on the document i just wanted to center this text here on the center of my screen right so i just wanted to add some style html i will first select the html tag and the body tag and then specify some style so what i will do is i will just specify height 100 percent and specify a background color to my body tag so i will just say background and specify hexadecimal value so i will just say hex color here right save the changes and just select the aligner class and just specify display flex align items center and justify content center right so this will center the text save the changes and you will get your text here now when you specify height to your aligner you will get your center text so i will just specify height 100 percent save the changes and here is your text right so this is center on the screen i will specify 80 percent height to this text to get this text here so i will just say here 80 percent right so you will get your text here just after that i will specify some font family so i will just add asterisk here to specify the same font for all the text so i will just say font family and specify on family here just after that i will remove padding from all the elements and also remove margin save the changes and just after that here i will just use the center class so i will just say dot center and specify text color so i will just say color and say white small now just after that, I will just create a division tag here for scrolling the text with the class list. 
and just create ul tag and the li tag and in the li tag i will just say welcome and in the second li tag i will just say do daily li and specify the last text so i will just say tuition here right save the changes and you will get this type of output just after that i will just wrap this division tag in another division tag so i will just cut this division tag and say here div with content class right and just paste this here now i just want to specify some style to this class so i will just say here content and specify property height 60 pixel width 150 pixel then we specify position relative now i just want to display both this division tag on the same line so i will just say here center and just select the division tag and just say display in line block right and you will get this type of output here i will just remove the bullets from the ul tag so i will just first select the ul tag so i will just say list ul and say list type none just after that i will just specify some style to the li tags so i will just say here list li ul li tag and for all the li tags i will just specify font size 2em and padding is going to be 0.4em and 0em right save the changes and you will get this type of output now just after that i will just add some background color so i will just say background light blue to see the height and width of this content class save the changes and this is the width and height of this content class now i will just hide this overflow content right so what i will do is i will just use here overflow hidden right so this will hide the two daily tuition text you will get this text if you slide up this text here i will just remove this background color save the changes and you will get this type of output now we will just create a sliding mechanism using javascript so i will just open my javascript file so i will just say Control p and just select the main.js file now in this file i will just select all these li tags to do that i will just say here let li is equal to document.query selector to select all the li tags query selector all and just specify a classes so i will just say list ul li right so now we have all li tags in this li variable just after that i will just create another list tag and say document.query selector and just select the list tag right now just after that here i will just create two variables so i will just select element zero and just after that say count and specify default value zero now here i will just call the set interval method now this method is execute after a specified millisecond so i will just say here set interval and in the first parameter i will just specify a function so i will just call the arrow function here and on the second argument i will just specify a millisecond so i will just say 3000 here because i wanted to execute this function after every three second right specify semicolon and in this function i will just say console.log and just specify a message called after every three second right save the changes and just open the console so i will just say Control shift i right so Control shift i to open the console log and here you will say called after every three second right so this statement is called after every three second right just after that i will just remove this console now here i will just print the length of the li tag so what i will do is i will just say console.log and say 
li dot length save the changes and here you will get the li length the length of the li is 4 right now now when you know that the length of the li you can create if statement here if element this variable is less than li dot length then i will just execute this if block or execute this else block now in the if block when this element is less than this li dot length i will just say here list just select this list variable dot style dot transform just specify a css transform property and just say here now here i will just specify a value so i will just use backtick operator and here i will just say rotate and in the parenthesis i will just say four degree right so i just wanted to rotate this property four degree save the changes and when you execute this after three seconds this property is rotated now i just wanted to rotate this property after every three seconds to do that i will just remove this hard-coded value and just use interpolation so i will just say dollar and in the curly braces i will just call the count variable right but now the count variable value is zero so i will just specify a value so i will just say six here but this will just specify value to this count variable now what i will do is i will just concatenate this value and just add six to this count variable so i will just say plus here right so this will add six to this count variable after every three seconds save the changes and you will get this type of result after every three seconds this property will rotate save the changes but i don't want it to rotate this property i want it to slide up this property so what i will do is i will just remove this rotate and just use back tick and here i will just say translate y just after that in the parenthesis i will just say dollar curly braces and just say count plus equal to four and just specify em here right save the changes and you will get this type of result but what's happened with the text the text is gone downwards here i just want to move this text up here to do that i will just specify minus here and just save the changes so you will get welcome to daily and the last text which is tuition right now i just wanted to execute this if log only four times because here we have only four li tags so to do that i will just add here element and just increase the value of the element by one so i will just say plus plus operator so this will increase the value of the element property by one so when the element is less than the li dot length this if block will execute otherwise i just wanted to specify else block so here i will just specify default value to this element so i will just say element is equal to zero as well as i just wanted to change this count variable and specify default value to this count variable as well save the changes and when you execute this you will get this type of output the first text is to daily tuition and then i just wanted to roll back again to the welcome text i will just remove this last position so i will just say here minus one right save the changes and when you execute this this will start from the first li tag and end on the last li tag right here just after that you will get the first li tag but what's going on this is not the first text this is the second now to roll back to the first tag i will just copy this statement and paste it here and just specify default value to this translate y property so here i will just remove this four so here the count variable has a default value zero save the changes and execute it when you execute this you will get the proper sliding up text right and just after that you will get the first text right this is your welcome text now i will just add some transition to this text so what i will do is i will just back to my style.css 
So I will just say control P and just say style.css and here I will just select the list tag and specify transition transform 0 0.9 second is right save the changes so you will get this type of output that's it slide up text animation is ready to use if you have any question you can ask me in the comment subscribe and like this video if you find anything useful i will see you in the next video